patience and love. Listen, I dealt with narcissistic people, toxic people, I mean the tormentors, all my life. And I dealt with malignant, covert, overt, whatever you want to call them. I dealt with a lot of traumatizing, narcissistic people. And I was in love with one main narcissistic person, which was my kid's father. We went through some stuff. We went through some stuff. We actually discovered some things. And in the second two relationships I had, they were with ease. And I always tell you all, go back to the root of your trauma. It's not the men, it's not the women, it's your tormenting family members. But now listen, check it, the sun is in my face, you all. Listen, if you love your narcissistic partner, now I'm not gonna tell you to remain in any type of relationship that is going to cause your life to end. I would never tell anyone to stay in anything of that nature. If you're getting beat on and you're getting abused, you or your children, I advise you to move out with ease. You cannot move out yelling, screaming, shouting because that narcissistic lover, that narcissistic husband, that narcissistic wife, they've been traumatized severely and they are in storm mode tornado mode you have to love these people easy it's sad to say it but i'm here to tell you from the rest of my life on earth for 48 years i've been around these people for 48 years i had to learn how to move around these people even though i wasn't scared but it's certain ways you have to deal with these people. Now, if you love your husband or wife and they're not abusive, they just verbally abusive, meaning the words, prayer, therapy. Even if they don't go to therapy, you still remain. Make sure you always have a prayer life. Listen to me when I tell you, even though they don't pray, that don't mean you don't have to pray. A praying wife is strength. Prayer can change it all. A wifey that moves, make moves when her husband can't or don't have the ability to, makes a lot of difference. Shouting back and forth ain't gonna make it better. I know you probably say, I'm tired of being quiet. I'd rather remain quiet and kill out all of the disasters that's going on in the home then continuously open my heart back and forth to anger shut the anger out stop letting that anger come back and forth in and out you remember back in the day when our fathers mothers if y'all had them i didn't but i lived around my grandmother a little bit a little bit and when we used to run in and out the door she said shut my door either you're gonna stay in or you're gonna stay out what you gonna do that's just how it got to go with your life. Is you gonna allow anger to come in and out your heart or you gonna shut the door on it? Or you gonna allow deceit coming in and out your life or you gonna shut the door on it? Or you gonna allow abuse coming in and out your life or you gonna shut the door on it? Put a do not disturb note on your heart. You let darkness know, we got to get peace in this house. If you that Proverb 31 woman, you gonna fight. You a fighter, you're not a complainer. You're not a smear, you don't smear your husband or your, 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 your business out all over social media. You fight, you fight in silence. If you're a husband, you're not gonna run to your homeboys and talk up under your wifey clothes. You're not gonna talk about your wifey ain't clean. You're not gonna talk your wifey don't know how to cook. You're not gonna talk and say, my wifey not good in bed. My children bad, my children this, my children. You're gonna be a man and you're gonna stand. Cause you are the one that holds the foundation of your home. 
If you got a narcissistic wifey, you are the strength. You can with ease get in her, get that house in order. It's waiting on you. If you are man, it's waiting on you. It's waiting. If you're a woman, your home is waiting on you. Your home is tired of being a house. It's tired of being abandoned. If y'all love each other and you going you gonna you gonna work it out, work it out with prayer. Go to prayer just as well as you go to therapy. Go to both. But most definitely go to prayer. Because God can fix you. Get your children in order. Y'all got to come on one accord. Shut the door on fornication. Stop letting it run in and out. Stop letting adultery run in and out. Stop letting greed run in and out. Shut the door. If you love, and you love the way you say you love, love conquers all of sin. But you got to be in. This is how you handle narcissistic loved ones, boundaries and standards. And you got to do it with patience and peace in your heart. If you ain't got peace in your heart, it'll never work. But I just want to give you that. And I give you more. And I still haven't forgot the part two on, on my um, narcissistic mommy dear. Love conquers all evil. That narcissistic person can change. That narcissistic person is in pain. They're in trauma. You've got to be easy with those people. Believe me. The love I got cracks all codes of evil. They want to be loved too. They're not Satan. They're used by Satan because their hearts were vulnerable as children. And if you don't have no remorse for how those people feel, then you are toxic too. And you need to work on your heart as well. Blessings.